Just after dawn on Christmas morning, the quiet streets of Nashville and its residents were shaken by the explosion which police are calling an intentional act. The blast, next to an AT&T telecoms hub, destroyed nearby vehicles, damaged buildings and disrupted communications across the state of Tennessee. The source of the explosion, a motorhome, or RV, filmed arriving in the area five hours previously. Police were already at the scene before the detonation, alerted first by reports of gunshots and then by a computerised voice message coming from the vehicle itself, telling anyone who could hear it to clear the area. They received calls for shots fired. I had no idea what they were responding to. Uh, once they arrived uh, in the area, uh, they heard an RV giving out a message, uh, basically saying that it was going to detonate within a certain time frame and a uh, countdown would go on and, uh, and then it would play music and then the countdown would start again. CCTV footage has since been posted online showing the moment of the blast, which was felt nine blocks away and heard for miles. Because of its location, timing and the computerised warnings, only three people were injured, none of them critically. But police say they cannot confirm whether anyone was inside the motorhome when it exploded and there have since been reports that human remains have been found at the scene. The officers immediately began knocking on doors and evacuating uh, residents here, not knowing if the, uh, the bomb was going to detonate immediately or if it was going to go off in the time that it was stated. Uh, these officers didn't care about themselves. They didn't think about that. They cared about the citizens of Nashville. And they went in, and we'd be talking not about the uh, debris and, that we have here, but also maybe potential people. No one has claimed responsibility for the blast and no motive has yet been established or suspects identified. The authorities say they believe this is an isolated incident, but downtown Nashville has been searched with sniffer dogs as a precaution and investigations continue. Fraser Maud, Sky News.